On Fox tonight, more than two months after she went missing in southeast Portland, family members of a Gresham woman are holding on to hope that she will be found. Take a look here. This is 22-year-old Kristen Smith. Her mom last spoke to her on November 19th. Fox 12's Drew Marine spoke with Kristen's mom tonight, who's hoping for your help finding her daughter. Drew. Melissa Smith says Kristen was last seen here near Mall 205. Take a look at this flyer they've posted around parts of Portland. Melissa says she likes to wear different wigs, so she may not look exactly like the photo on this flyer, but she has a tattoo of a red butterfly on her right hand. It is quite like a piece of you is missing. Each day that passes and Melissa and Haley Smith don't hear from 22 year old Kristen Smith, they get more concerned she's in danger. A main concern of ours now is sex trafficking. We don't know, but with things we've been told or, you know, people that know her are saying it's a possibility because this is not like her to just disappear. Kristen's mom, Melissa, last talked to her on November 19th and hasn't had contact with her since. She says Kristen always checks in with family and friends at least once a week, if not more. But then when I tried to reach out to her again, she didn't answer. And I thought that was strange. I was like, well, she might be busy. Next day, same thing. And then phone just went straight to voicemail. And that's where I'm like, this is very odd. Something's not right. Kristen, who sometimes uses the last name Redis, was last seen around Mall 205 in southeast Portland, but also hangs out in other areas of Portland, too. They've hung up this flyer and looked for her around the Gateway Transit Center, at homeless shelters around downtown Portland, and on southeast 82nd Avenue, hoping someone might be able to spot her. Melissa says she typically wears different wigs, so she may not look like the picture on the flyer. She does have a tattoo. Uh, stick and poke on her right hand of an outlining of a red butterfly. So that's a distinctive way to um, identify her. Now they're just waiting for Kristen to come home. It's, it's horrible. I cannot even describe to you what it feels like to have a child missing and just you don't know if they're alive. You don't know if they're okay. Melissa says they won't stop their search for Kristen and ask if you spot her to please call Gresham Police. Live in Southeast Portland, Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon.